Today we'll be talking about the criminal justice system and the role of mental or substance use disorders. We always want a criminal justice system. Our goal is to make the system fair, efficient, and effective. It's not fair, it's not efficient, and it is not effective to ignore these disorders. We have an opportunity to provide treatment and assistance um, to these people. If you do not deal with a mental health issue, the first time you see someone at a very early age to come into the criminal justice system, these can, things can escalate into more serious crimes. In one 12 month period of time in my county, we had 12 homicides that were committed in my county. And every one of them, as soon as they came across my desk, what I saw was a profound mental health issue by an individual who we had seen before. Without opportunity to change, people don't change. And so if you don't have that opportunity to, you know, get support, mentoring in high school, uh, helping with your studies in high school, it's so much easier to stay on the street and be supported by other people who are similar to you. My view is that once you've paid your debt to society, it should be paid. You know, when I was sentenced, the judge didn't say, by the way, you, you know, you, you may not be able to vote in some states, you may not be able to find employment or housing for the rest of your life. That wasn't part of the plea agreement and that's not what this country um, stands for. Working in the criminal justice system, I, I feel this is one area where we are really able to have a positive impact on people's lives. And to see that impact, not only in the short term, um, but in the long term through the relationships that we develop and maintain with our participants and our graduates.